it's me and I am good. <laughs> Makeup. <laughs> That's right. We're doing some eyeshadow. Peaches. Well, it's 3.30 in the morning right now. And Peaches has decided that a princess should be sleeping at 3.30 in the morning. So, she wasn't really into getting up and doing a video. <laughs> Anyways... Glam goes pretty much always up for the occasion if he's not out, you know, busting his horn someplace else. <laughs> so, this is the changing of the eyeshadow palettes. So, if you want to hear what that's about and, you know, kind of get into some eyeshadow, hang out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so, the changing of the eyeshadow palettes. I used to belong to every beauty box. I don't, I can't even tell you how many I got. And due to that, I have, you know, plus <coughs> actual purchases, gifts, etc. I have way too many eyeshadow palettes. There are plenty of people that have more than I do. There are plenty of people that don't have as many as I do. I feel blessed that I, you know, what was able to uh, try all of these. But, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be able to... There's too many. There's too many. <laughs> so, what I do is, at the beginning of every month, I pick out two or three palettes... Out of my mountain and I go okay this month I'm gonna kind of concentrate on using these eyeshadow palettes now that's not to say I'm not going to use anything else because you know I could be doing a collab I could just feel like I need a certain color or shade whatever you know and reach for some other palette and that's fine what I'm trying to do is Use all my palettes and decide, is this a palette, which palettes will I reach for? If I get two or three out, is there a palette that I'm not going to use? Should I really keep it, okay? And, you know, it's kind of fun to compare as you're doing this anyways. So, let's take a look at last month's palettes. Okay, first off, we have the Sieti London Jessica Rabbit Collection. This is beautiful packaging. I love this packaging. If there wasn't a bunch of makeup in this that I felt like somebody could enjoy, <laughs> I would just put this on my wall. Because, you know, look at that. It would fit, right? Look at how beautiful that is. Um, but, I'm not going to do that because... She's a little, yeah. You know, look at what's on the inside. And it does have a nice mirror. The whole top's a mirror, too. You know, there's some pretty stuff in there. And I did use this a few times. And it is buildable. But it likes to go on... I don't know. I, I'm just not a favorite of the Siete London formula. Um, but like I said, there's some beautiful purples. There's kind of a, I don't even know what that is, kind of a, a dusty rose, some neutrals, some more, you know, golds and neutrals. And they, they're not bad. They're not bad. Okay, let me see. Let's do, well, you know, because I like the pink, let's go with this kind of rosy, goldy, whatever it is. You know, I mean, it's, look at that. It's pretty, but... It doesn't go on my eye like that unless I build it, you know, or I suppose if I put it on with my finger, it would be fine. I don't know. I just, I feel like I did not reach for this palette very much. Um, I'm not, I mean, I knew there was going to be purples in it because, you know, look at her eyeshadow. It's purple. Hello. Can you see? There we go. Um... But truth be told, like the one color that I just, that, that's the only color in there that even calls out to me. And it doesn't call very loudly. Um, 
I think the whole reason I bought this palette to begin with, I'm sure it came from an add-on in BoxyCharm, uh, is because of that. That. Okay, that's beautiful. I thought long and hard about this. <laughs> I'm not going to keep this. I just don't feel like I use it enough. And if I keep it, it's not going to sit out on my desk or my wall where it's going to just be pretty. It's going to go in a drawer where I'm never going to look at it anyways. So I do have a friend that has already spoken for this. Uh, she really likes the whole Jessica Rabbit collection. And, uh, you know, look at that. So, yeah, uh, that's that, that one's going to leave. Okay, now, for the next one. NYX, love you so moochie. <laughs> okay, I gotta tell you, everything that I don't like about the last palette, I do like about this one. Um... First off, the, one of the things that this calls to me over the other one is, look at those colors. You know, I mean, we're not talking a whole lot of neutrals here. We got green, we got brown, we got some serious pinkage. Uh, we got a blue, we've got like a pewter, we've got a yellow, we've got a silver. Um, this... This one right here, this, this is, it's like a multi-color, <laughs> multi-chrome, whatever. It's, it's just, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's got greens and purples and blues. It's gorgeous. You do need to apply this with your fingertips. I believe there's a brush that you can use with this. I just haven't found that brush yet that it likes, but it goes on really well with the fingertips. They are great toppers or like if you want just a, a glisten of color, um, like they're, they're not very open, which like I said, that's, I don't like about this one, but it's not pretty and shiny when it's not. You know, this this is shiny no matter what. Um, you do have to apply it with your fingers. So what I'm wearing today, I have the the yellow, the pewter, and that iridescent thing going on. Um like I really I think that this looks good even on my old skin. Um I think it's it's fairly attractive. And yes, I do have on pink <laughs> I should, I, uh, mascara. I know. Yeah, I know. I'm going to keep this. I am so impressed with, like, when I bought it, I bought it because it was colorful. I brought it home. I couldn't make it work. It went in the drawer, you know. And I've used it a few times since then. But, you know, I've learned a lot since the time when I actually purchased this. And... I don't know. I just feel like my the way I apply now works well with this shadow. I I like it. I'm keep I like it. <laughs> and there's that, right? I reached for that a lot. Like seriously, I reached for that quite a bit um last month. Next we have the uh Wildflower Limited Edition by Valentine Palette. Valentine Palette is the brand. Okay, um, it, it's a kind of a rainbow palette, I guess. Well, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it is a rainbow palette. Okay, no mirror, but plenty of what you want. Like this whole row is glitter and this is glitter and you can see where I hit pan on that because dang is that pretty um you've got you know your greens one purple I don't know what yeah okay whatever uh just 
you know, and everything is kind of laid out in a pretty good way to use it. So maybe this purple, I don't know. I think the purple would be better off over here with the pinks, but, you know, whatever. Um, this is waterproof. It's, it goes on pretty, uh, oh, let's try one. Who should we try? Um... Right, let's go with this orange one right here. Why not? I never do orange. I tell you, this is an old palette. I've had this for a while, and it is still pretty creamy. Okay. <laughs> well, let's just do this, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know, maybe the back of the hand wasn't the best place to do that, but um, it, it really is. I like this palette. I feel like I didn't get a chance to really get into this the way that I want to. Um, it, you know, it's, it seemed like when I was going to work, I'm just, it's so hot and I'm just throwing on whatever I, you know, and it's like, this one, reaching for this one, reaching for this one. Um, I just didn't feel like opening up the big one, you know. So, I'm going to keep this out for the month of May also. And, and see if I can't get a little more use out of this. Um, obviously, I'm keeping this one because, you know, if it makes you happy, right? Um, and this one, she's going to a good home. She, she's going to a good home. So I'm happy about that. Now, what am I going to add to next month? I'm only going to add one more. This is a palette that I've also had for a very long time. I enjoyed it for a short amount of time when I first got it. But it was like, I got this palette at the same time that I got a lot of palettes. And it just sort of slid under the... You know, under the wire. Okay, this is the Betty Boop collection from Ipsy. Um, nice mirror. I have a film over the mirror, so I've never taken that off. I did use this a little bit. This is a nice, these two are really nice. Um, Funny, this almost looks like it's got a purple to it. Maybe we should swatch that one. It's got some beautiful, like, shimmers and foils in here. Uh, it looks like these two are matte. This one, I'm not even sure about. <laughs> Let's, you know what? Let's take a swatch and find out, right? Wow, this feels nice. And I remember people, I don't know, I think that's a matte, but where to put it? Lord have mercy. All right, there she is right there. Yeah, that, maybe not. Okay, so we've got two mats. Ooh, maybe not. I don't think that one's a mat either. It's pretty bad when they're so creamy that you can't tell if it's a matte or not, right? No, that one, I think, is a matte. Okay, I think that those are both mattes. So, these three are matte, and the other five are shimmer. This one, this one in the corner here, we got to that there's, there's a lot of shine going on there. I, I got to see what that's about. Wow. 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 Okay, so, you know, I remember people complaining about this palette. You know, it's Ipsy brand or some bullshit like that. And I gotta tell you, I feel like, yeah. Okay, so for this month, month of May, um, we're gonna be using the 
Wildflower Limited Edition Palette from the brand Valentine Palette. Yeah, it's almost like a Morphe uh, type of, uh, you know, this here. This is a great indie brand, though. She's worth looking into. You just, you know, ValentinePalette.com. Um, beautiful stuff in here. Just beautiful. And the, uh, the glitters, I don't use glitter glue. I just, okay, why not? Um, let's go with this one right here. What I do with the glitter is I just pick up a little bit on my finger and then kind of push it onto the eye just a little bit. I don't need to coat my eye with glitter. And I find that you only get like the really bad fallout when you're really trying to use a lot, you know. So, but yep, yeah, that's it. It'll just catch a little bit of light and sparkle, and that's fine. I'm good with that. What's fun is if you use, like, like a blue eyeshadow look and then put, like, a pink, just tap a, a few pink glitter on that or gold or, uh, you know, use a, a green and put blue on it or gold or, you know, you, you don't have to put the same color glitter on as long as it's like something that goes with it. Um, like put a purple or a blue on over your pinks. So yeah, I do kind of want to play with this a little bit more. And like I said, we're going to get into this what a mercy trying to figure out which end this opens on um i'm gonna get into this a little bit more uh there's some i don't know like these three here are all they're a different texture this this is a i, don't, I think this is more of a foil and this is more of a glitter i don't know what the hell that is i think it's a matte but you know when those three just, and then you could add anything to that. Like, anything. Um, yeah. I think I'm set up for a lot of different looks and things I can play with in both of these palettes. Turn it around. Betty Boop! Um, gonna have a lot of fun this month. So, what do you guys think? Did you, have you ever heard of Valentine Palette before? Number one. And if you have not... Like I said, just, you know, Google it, valentinepalette.com, and uh, see what she's got in there. Because I have two of her palettes, and I really enjoy them. And it's an indie brand that you just don't hear about. Um, you just don't. At least not in the States. Uh, the Ipsy Palette, Betty Boop. You know, I didn't... Look at this. I need, <laughs> yeah. I need... Uh, yeah, okay. We, we got some good makeup here. Um, did any of you guys ever get that palette? What did you think of it? Uh, what do you think of Ipsy makeup? Um, and, you know, let's talk Betty Boop. Who thinks Betty Boop is all that? Okay, I love the whole Betty Boop thing. I think she is just all that <laughs> okay so guys what palette are you using this month you know do i have any palettes here that you would be like yeah i don't think so what about the jessica palette did you did any of you guys ever try that from seattle london what did you think you know give me your opinions they count to me and until the next time i hope you Wake up dancing, boom, boom, wake up dancing, boom, 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 wake up dancing every single day. Bye-bye. <laughs>